Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request for a Kaplan question, QID 132801. This take, test taker said, how uh, likely is something like this? Okay, well, let's answer that first question. An aggressive investor buys ABC stock with a beta 1.7. I don't know of any draw of Series 7, Series 65, or Series 66, and which you don't have to know that beta is a measurement of volatility of a security against the market, as represented by the S&P 500. So definitional, you should certainly know that. You know, the three styles of question are definitional recognition, practical application, and judgment. I think it's unlikely that you're going to have to do what this question is, which is practical application, a low probability. Okay, so beta 1.7 means we expect that this security will uh, be 1.7 more times volatile than the market. So if we have 1.7 as our beta, let me get a bigger font for that. 1.7 times the uh, rate of return for the market, which was 10%, my expectation would be that this uh, security would return, my expectation would be 17%. Okay, let's start there. Uh, ABC's return was 12. So let's put this here, that's my expected return. Whoop. And here it says that we only got 12%. Now for all test takers again, for all test takers, series seven, series 65, series uh, 66, uh, I would definitely know the definition of alpha. A very popular website is called Seeking Alpha, Excess Returns. And you know, alpha can be either positive or negative. And again, on all those exams, I would know alpha is excess of beta, but it can be a negative number. So, you know, somebody who doesn't understand this is going to say, oh, man, I made 12 percent and you actually underperformed. And so this is a negative because our expectation was 17 of 12. This is illustrating that, indeed, that can be a negative alpha. Right. So here if we got 12. The negative alpha that results will be underperformed based on the beta is negative 5%. And I kind of like this question. Do I think you're going to have to do practical application to answer this test taker, test taker's question? The answer is I do not. Do I think you need to have a general understanding that beta is a measurement of volatility on all the exams? The answer is I do. Do I think you need to know that alpha is excess return? It could also be under. It doesn't have to be positive. The positive alpha would be better. I think that's on all the exams. Now, the more likely practical application of this question would be on the 65, 66, and not the seven. Oh, well. Anyways, hope you found that helpful. Hope that answers your question about, is this testable? Uh, beta is certainly testable in terms of recognition. Alpha is certainly testable in terms of recognition. Very low probability. You're going to have to do practical application regarding beta and alpha. Uh, lower probability on the seven, very low probability on 65 and 66, but there is a, a chance. Okay, so remember, inch by inch, your exams are a cinch, yard by yard, your exams are hard, and I will see you for the next explication request.